Okay, to insert any existing files or existing websites into a PowerPoint, navigate to the slide where you want to put it in. So this one's fine. Maybe I want to put a link in here. We'll say YouTube or something. You can put in some text and you can highlight the text. And then what you need to do is you need to come up to the insert on the ribbon and then come to hyperlink. And you can do this for external URLs and you can also do this for files that live on your computer. So come on here and you can put in the existing web page. You can paste the address right here. So let me grab a YouTube URL to paste. So perhaps I want to take one of my own videos. Um, I can click on the video. Click on share. Copy. Back to the PowerPoint. And you can paste it right down here. Say OK. You'll notice that changes it blue because it's a clickable link now. Now what you have to understand is you cannot launch this link while you're in edit mode on the slide. It will only launch once you move into slideshow mode. So if I go into slideshow mode, and keep in mind you are going to be running a couple programs at once. You're running PowerPoint and you're also going to be launching the internet. So it may have a lag time. You come over and you click on it. You can see that it's thinking and then it will launch the video eventually, depending on how quickly your internet speeds are. To put in an actual file that's on your computer, I can X out of this or escape. Let me give another slide here. To link in a file that lives on your machine, give it some text to be clickable, so maybe APA rules. Highlight the text you want to be clickable. Again, make sure you're in insert on the ribbon. Go to hyperlink. If you're looking for existing file or web page, it's an existing file. And you can go through your different folders, but I'll just go to the current folder and then I'll navigate to my desktop. I'm sure I have something there I can use. Um, again, here I have one on APA. And say OK. You can see it has the file path down here in the address link. And then it saves it there. Now what you have to understand with documents though is it has to be saved in the machine that you're going to be presenting from once in the classroom. Um, so if you're saving this to a flash drive but you don't save the file, it won't come with it automatically. So you just want to be careful of that. So um, whenever you link to files, they need to be on the machine where you're going to be giving the presentation from. And again, this is not going to work right now. Um, I need to also be in slideshow mode for it to work. And once I click on this, then it becomes clickable. It will ask me, are you sure you want to open this? Usually it's a security concern. You can just say, yes, I want to. And eventually it'll launch that, that PowerPoint or that PDF for me.